The UK's financial regulator is getting tougher on crypto. Here's what you need to know. Let's roll that beautiful intro. So the news is out that the UK's financial regulator, the PSR, is getting tougher on crypto. But what does this mean for you? What does this mean for your XRP? My people, I hope you've been enjoying the past 24 hours because you know what you really get over here tuning in on this channel? Another 24 hours of blessings. Today, I'm going to be breaking it down for you to let you guys know what we could really be expecting in the next couple months when it comes down to the UK and when it comes down to XRP. Let's go ahead and check our prices here. You can see our Bitcoin right now at the time of this recording is at 1718. I'll put it like that. Uh, past 24 hours, about 23 billion dollars worth of bitcoin has exchanged now if you guys are over on our twitter we've been more so on a smear campaign if you will letting people know about how bitcoin is old tech you have your ethereums right here is at one two i'll put it like that up two percent on the week about 6.7 billion dollars of um of ethereum has exchange in the past 24 hours let's see who's done some winning in the past 24 hours you have your graph here up six percent Chain is up 6% and as well EOS up 6%. Now, if you're new to our channel, what we focus on is utility cryptos and ISO compliant cryptocurrencies, XRP being one of them, XLM and XDC. Now, when we say utility cryptos, that means that these are cryptocurrencies that are going to be helping people, real people and real world solutions. So you guys can see it right here. Let's do our price checks on our chosen Five ISOs with a few bonus tracks mixed in. You have your XRP right here at 38 cents. Telegram, this guy, I'm keeping my eyes on it, but you guys could see it. They're not letting that thing dip. Ton coin, Telegram coin right there. Stellar's here at 8.5. Algorand's right there at 22 cents. $42 million worth of Algorand has exchanged hands in the past 24 hours. Algorand is nothing you guys want to play around with. We're talking about quantum resistant. Okay, quantum resistant. Now, speaking of it, Quant's right here at 123, Hedera's right there at 47, IOTA's here at 20 cents, and XDC at 21. Guys, with a few a few uh, mixed in here, we're going to be looking out for you guys, especially for Cypherium. If you guys haven't done your research on Cypherium, you guys can see it's up 14% on the week based off of the new news that we really went over in our last live stream. Really good for, to look forward to it. There's a link in our description for Mexi. Let's go ahead and take a further look at the time of this recording mexi is taking on 95 percent of the volume for this cypherium so if you're new to our channel go ahead and look through our library we've covered cypherium extensively this is going to be a fed now service provider fed now it's the 24 7 365 payment system that the federal reserve is going to be introducing next year and there is only one dlt one crypto that is involved in those services and cypherium is one so there's a link in our description you could bypass your kyc there's a link in our description for mexi use our link all right now i'm sure you guys have been hearing a lot about the proof of reserves that have been coming out you know since ftx has come down you know proof of reserves is important to actually make sure that your exchange actually has the collateral if there's a bank run you can see it that binance's proof of reserve audit actually shows that they are over collateralized meaning that this reserve report says that Binance has enough assets to satisfy customer withdrawals. But critics are pointing out that such audits can be manipulated, audit companies can be bought off to concealed mismanaged funds, all of those things. So long story short, guys, of course, being here, no one is really going to be satisfied all the way around. When it comes down to digital assets, without regulation, if you will, you're really going to have to have a bit of trust and there's a little bit of risk. So that's why we do suggest, of course, you get yourself cold storage, keep your coins off of these exchanges all right there's a link in our description as well now i mean i almost fell out of, like <laughs> talk about it you know the bruh moment okay right here you can see it ran crypto man ran he was like look fire up the ftx exchange issue a new ftt token distribute the tokens to creditors and depositors then accrue a hundred percent of the profits to token holders they're saying it'll be the biggest exchange in the world and users will be made more than whole 
guys i mean in all the 290 bots who retweeted that one but you guys could see it right here sbf coming back like yeah i continue to think that this will be a productive path for parties to explore i hope that the team in place will do so man of course you do of course you do look at this you guys could see it um bit boy was coming out and he was saying while gary gensler was busy botching up the xrp case to screw the xrp army he was simultaneously meeting with ftx I wonder why. You guys could see it. Take a look at this chart right here. You can see the moment Gary Gensler was confirmed as the leader of the financial policy transaction team, transition team, you have FTT going crazy, going from clearly here, $3 a coin to $51 within a few months. Okay, so that is wild. All you need to know about the SPF Gary Gensler relationship and collusion is in one chart. All right. So this one is wild, guys. This one is wild. I mean, if you are a Tether fan or if you are a USDC fan, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. It's free and it really helps our channel get the message out there. Now, look at this. Coinbase is saying switch to the trusted and reputable digital dollar USDC. Now, clearly, guys, this is shots fired. All right. We've been talking with you guys about what's been happening with Tether uh, repeatedly over and over. Now, Coinbase is seeing that there's all this crypto public attention because of BitBoy, of course. BitBoy went down to the Bahamas, went down to the source, making sure that you guys see is Tether for real? Is this bank real? You know, are we really being held up, propped up by some fake stable coin? So Coinbase is saying, look, USDC is one of the most trusted, reputable digital dollars fully backed with high quality reserves. And I agree. I agree. Um, and that's what we've been suggesting to you guys, even throughout the whole Luna debacle or I'd say implosion. OK, OK. Throughout it all, <clears throat> we've said that USDC is the closest thing that you have by the regulators to a digital dollar. So they're putting it out there, letting you guys know, hey, listen, we believe that USDC is a trusted and reputable stable coin. So we're making it more frictionless to switch starting today. We're waiving fees for global retail customers to convert USDT to USDC within obviously their own app but you guys can see it shots are being fired here y'all and i think it's honestly because more and more people are going to ask the question well is tether really solvent you know uh, more and more evidence comes out they used previous chem uh criminal auditors auditors for their audit that does not look good <laughs> All right. So right here, uh, I thought this was quite interesting. Mr. Whale was tweeting about how GameStop says that it will no longer focus any efforts on crypto. Oh, no. GameStop. <laughs> so uh, this was interesting. I saw this article and it was saying more than three billion people around the world spend time on online games. Therefore, the industry reached one hundred and sixteen billion in twenty twenty one and is expected to grow in 2022 and onward i'm thinking to myself interesting the gamestop is saying that they no longer want to focus on crypto even though this industry is continuing to grow if you guys don't know axie infinity decentraland DeFi kingdoms they went from 4,000 users to 2 million in a few months only guys so that is a huge huge industry if you aren't involved now, right here, you guys are seeing it from Cointelegraph. BlackRock says, get ready for a recession unlike any other. We're talking about the world's biggest asset manager. In January, the uh, Coin uh, Telegram had said that the Western world was infatuated, infatuated with digital rocks as China was stockpiling gold. Now, that's what they're saying there. OK, gold telegraph, gold, silver, crypto commodities. We've giving you guys a few tweets from them. If you guys are over on Twitter, go give them a follow. They say some very good things. But you could see it. Look throughout history how gold has performed during recessions and stagflation. BlackRock says get ready for a recession unlike any other and what worked in the past won't work now. So they're speaking to, of course, those traditional um, 
traditional investors and, you know, retail really in saying, well, if you want to stockpile your gold, you want to stockpile your silver and whatnot, you know, you want to do what worked in the past. It won't work now. Well, I say this to you, my friend, when they tell you things like that, consider what worked in the past, but you must keep your mind open for what will be in the future. Okay, so you can see it. The global economy has entered a period of volatility and previous investing approaches won't work anymore. Previous investing approaches, meaning gold, silver during these recessions, gold and silver will still have its place, my people. But utility cryptos will enter into the fray. Why? Why is that? Hmm? Because from this same black rock, the CEO says that the next generation for the market is what? tokenization tokenization blackrock joins a growing number who feels that tokenization of securities is it interesting that because look at this guys i was looking through on an article and i found this xdc hmm what are they going to be doing tokenizing securities you don't say with more than 36 billion invoices sent between um medium micro small medium enterprises and other corporations invoices play an important role in the transfer of liquidity within the trade finance space if you didn't know xdc is meant to digitize the trade finance space how is it going to do that by tokenizing securities tokenizing securities long story short this platform here called trade finex is available on the xdc network now i uh, have to give the guy his credit xx made the diagram but you guys can see it it's meant to tokenize securities OK, plug and play all the way around with trade finance digitization platforms. Huh? Now, next up for another ISO crypto right here. Firefly is doing their update. Firefly Shimmer 2.1.0 is now in alpha testing. This includes the first iteration of NFT support alongside layer one to layer two asset transfers and improvements to the balance breakdown. So if I have any IOTA people that are listening, this is really good news, of course, because you're seeing more and more development that's happening for Shimmer. If you hold some IOTA right now, what you need to do, okay, what I mean, I mean real IOTA, what you need to do, um, <clears throat> Download the Firefly wallet, upgrade it, of course, you need to get the newest version. And from there, right now, you can stake your IOTA for what's called assembly. OK, IOTA is in big development right now. You can see it. IOTA Penguin, he's like, while people complain about the token price, the IOTA Foundation keeps on delivering. And that's really what it's about. Retail King, that's a distraction. It doesn't matter about that price. That doesn't take away from the utility. So right here from Bricks News, y'all, number of Brazilian companies Transacting with digital assets has increased again in October. You guys could see it. My point is that BRICS Nations is moving forward. Now, right here, uh, I thought this was quite fascinating. And I walk with you guys about this. The ECB official says energy intensive cryptos should what? Be banned. They should be banned. That investors have been caught in a quote unquote bubble. How might that be? Well, crypto assets should be banned if they are too energy intensive, says the European Central Bank board member Fabio uh, Panetta. And he's been adding more and more, been covering with you guys more and more on his criticism of digital assets, if you will. Long story short, you guys know it. Energy intensive cryptos means Bitcoin, right? Means Bitcoin. I want you to see that XDC has achieved carbon neutrality. OK, it's really about sustainable utility cryptos. OK, if they're actually going to be sustainable because these central bank bosses, they see that something like Bitcoin using 71 terawatts of energy annually, the equivalent of the annual energy consumption of Colombia. No, that's not here for a long time. We need we need something here. The annual consumption on this. My God. Seven millionths of a half of a terawatt. The equivalent of two Tesla models or eight light bulbs. Come on now. Yes, that's that's what the world needs. And that will be here for a long time now. All right. Here's the main piece here, guys. Now, what we said we're going to be doing, like I said, I want to break it down with you guys so we can actually see what we can expect really for our XRP, for us being XRP holders and investors. So the UK has been, I mean, in talks with uh, Ripple and I'll show you guys that. But I want you guys to see this, that actual regulators, 
Okay, are they're 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 coming to make it a little more solid for the regulation. Now, if you are new to our channel, we've been covering regulation for a while. It's coming to cryptocurrency, but really it's about shaping the stage for central bank digital currencies. So I want you all to see right now the UK, they want to move over and this new um, regulator, they're trying to explore regulating crypto. So the payment system regulator, the PSR, a fairly new regulator, became fully operational in 2015. They say we don't expect to see digital currencies replacing traditional currencies in the immediate future, but it's important that uh, innovation and competition and payments are balanced with strong safeguards. Now, long story short, obviously, guys, we don't even see it over here that, you know, replacing traditional currencies. The point being is that these traditional currencies will become enhanced. They will become enhanced. The regulator, however, has already gotten a head start in regulating the sector with the Treasury putting Finality International a still being tested payment system using DLT under its supervision. So right now already guys, they're already trying to come and affect these new payment systems. You can see it here, payment system regulator, every time anyone uses a cash machine, transfers money, uses a contact list or gets paid, they're using a payment system. So dig this, I want you guys to see how do they approach actually regula regulatory frameworks. They say, we aim to develop and protect competitive markets where possible and to contribute to the creation of market conditions. That's what they want. They now want to get their hands over into crypto. We will regulate only where we have clear evidence that we need to do so and where we expect the benefit of our regulation will outweigh any costs or unintended consequences. I want y'all to see this. As I was doing my digging into all of this, the UK payment system and whatnot, the Bank of England is very important. Now, what do we say? It's about harmonization. They're moving forward. They, they, regulations are coming. We need a framework. We need this all to come together. Look at this. If you are new to our channel and for my people that have been here, ISO gang members, ISO soldiers that are listening, you can see it right here. This is a great, great article. Why? The Bank of England introducing the new upgrade to the timeline, a new messaging standard for UK payments using data to increase harmonization, innovation and resilience. Look at this updated approach and timeline to this migration. And I have to say, uh, if you are new to our channel, we've been talking about this extensively, extensively. This is going to be one of the biggest changes to come to the payment sector. Now, real quick, so you could see some of the benefits you guys could see. But real quick, you can see it on December 5th. We issued an updated approach for the delivery of the revised real time gross settlement service. All right. Keep that in mind. They they revised it. They have an approach, right? Payment data in the UK is changing. The UK's payment data, the payment industry is moving to ISO 20022, an emerging global standard for payment messages. This standard creates a common language for payment data across the world. Think about what that that message is this standard creates a common language for payment data across the world the world has never seen anything like this you realize you realize a world post iso messaging means you have harmonization 70 countries coming together compliance regulation resilience against um uh data tax because it's going to be used across all payment systems resilience by allowing rerouting by by directional messaging which which will reduce the impact um, for for risk and, and friction throughout it all. So I'm looking forward to this because, again, guys, that's just how you can have a DLT um, shaped uh, world for the payment system. Uh, right here, the UK payment industry moving to ISO, the emerging global uh, standard for all payments. Better data in payments promises to deliver significant long term benefits. Right. You guys can see it. You guys can see it. So flexibility, ISO can adopt more easily than current messaging standards. So it's more responsive to changing in the economy, emerging technologies and innovation. Now, this is the real kicker, guys. I know this is kind of going long, but listen to this. Listen to this. Our timeline and approach now for CHAPS. Now, CHAPS is what um, I believe CHAPS Yes, chaps, chaps is 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 theirs. So you can see the a real time growth settlement renewal program 
has continued to consult with CHAPS direct participants. And CHAPS is really, I believe, their clearinghouse. So you guys can have an idea of what's going to be going on throughout the future. Um, throughout this summer of this year, they were going through the pilot program. But now, June 23, June 23, CHAPS is going to be having their ISO messaging. CHAPS is going to transition over to ISO. OK, so from there, those chaps participants will be able to choose whether to send and receive those non-payment messages. See, the thing about ISO messages, it just means enhanced crossed border payments. But that's really when you have everything becoming cross border. That's because we have a common language for everyone across the globe. Right. We're moving away from this monolithic one one one. And now everyone is going. It's plural. It's plural. No longer is it just going to be the dollar that's ruling everything. It's going to be on this plural way, a level playing field. So um, you can see it right there. So in June next year, that's when they're going to be uh, their clearinghouse is going to integrate with their ISO messaging in the spring of 24. There's going to be a new settlement engine, the new real time growth settlement core ledger and settlement engine core ledger and settlement engine will be introduced in the transact transition state three currently planned in spring 2024 all right and then from there you guys can see from november 25 we intend to implement a program of annual upgrades to this messaging scheme why because they're preparing for a new payment system that's already been agreed on now if you're still wondering if you're kind of like well you know yeah that's what it says who who how do you know that ripple has even had any talks with the bank of england right here you guys could see it since 2017 okay since 2017 around that around that time you guys could see that the bank of england has been in talks with ripple to explore the synchronized settlement of payments using the interledger protocol the fintech accelerator you guys could see right here they've been working with of course innovative firms with new technology the bank of england has been operating real-time growth settlement since 96 but since two since 06 they've had an interest uh to uh, implement something new, if you will. So the vision for the renewed uh, real-time growth settlement was published in 2017. In that vision, the bank explained that it planned to introduce new functionalities to support the synchronization. Huh? The synchronization. I want to bring you guys right back uh, here real quick. Harmonization. OK, so messages will be harmonized with payment systems around the world. That's the reason why we harp so much on utility cryptos, why we harp about XRP, Cypherium, XDC, all of that, because it's about synchronization of cash movements made in real time growth settlement with the movement of cash and assets held in other systems in the next generation. You get what I'm saying, guys? The next generation obviously has something to do with the interledger protocol. So the solution, the solution, meaning the interledger protocol and guys, the ISO, all these ISO compliant cryptos are a part of the interledger protocol family. The solution used Ripple Connect, obviously everything Ripple Net, which acted as a interface that enabled an institution's internal system to what? Integrate with the Ripple network. That's what it's all about. Successfully integrated with two simultaneous real time growth settlements hosted in the cloud. All of it came together. So when it comes down to real time growth settlement, when it comes down to global real time adoption, you guys could see it. It all leads to right here. One world banking blockchain platform connecting with the Federal Reserve blockchain platform. If you haven't seen this already, go ahead and check out our last live that we did a few days ago. We're going to be preparing a, a steak dinner for our premium people. Probably going to have T and Kurt on to discuss this beautiful patent with you guys. But you can just take this right here and sleep well at night. But I appreciate you guys really being a part of this channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe and as well hit that bell so you guys do not miss out on any of our updates. But I'll holler at you later. Peace.